Hello Libra, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let us see what the universe has in store for you Libra. Also just as a quick note, if you guys are ever contacted by someone who's posing as me saying hey hit me up at this number or contact me on WhatsApp if you want a reading, that's not me. Okay, there's a lot of spam on YouTube and Instagram and all of that. So please, please, please be careful. I never ever contact people asking them if they want a reading. Okay, so now to your weekly reading. <sighs> so it looks like there's a home situation that maybe you're taking time out um angels are saying you're looking for insight maybe meditating on something looking for clarity you got three fours here um it's almost it, it feels as though maybe you're trying to um calm down the situation or calm yourself down kind of pulling yourself out of a situation for until uh clarity has presented itself until you're clear about a specific situation this could be an intense situation, a lot of passion, possible anger, possible excitement, high emotions. And I feel like to an extent, especially with those three fours, some of you guys are really trying to learn, you know, trying to manage this, especially mentally. You're checked out, you're recharging before maybe dealing with this high intensity, high emotional situation. And with that emperor there, it's almost like there is, you know, a need to maybe regain control to make a, you know, a decision. Wow, you got the emperor twice. Okay, so this looks like um, you guys are trying to figure out if you're going to walk away maybe permanently from a dead end situation. You know, the five of pentacles is kind of somebody just not hitting their mark, right? Um, so now you have all fours on the table, four of cups, four of wands, four of swords, and four of pentacles. So it kind of feels like something is at a deadlock. It's at a standstill. And it's almost like you guys both need to have a conversation to make a decision on how do we proceed? Where do we go from here? This could have been a situation where you, your person has walked away, shut down emotions on, especially here, four of cups. Um, and here Aquarius, you know, especially with the two emperors. Yeah, I do kind of feel like there needs to be a decision that's made here. And it could again be a decision of how do we get back on track? Or again, do we walk away and walk away permanently? Um, with the four of, of wands and also the seven of cups, the, it, I kind of feel like, you know, somebody's trying to figure out if they want to stay in this domestic or home or family situation, marriage, some sort of commitment. Um, things are a bit unclear right now. Somebody is emotionally scattered. Um, angels are also saying too, it feels like there's an absence of emotion here, right? We have what, three cups on the table. They're not the three greatest cups. You got the four, the seven, and the eight. So I just kind of feel like, again, um, there is a lack of, of maybe positive emotions, if you will, or at the same time, a lack of clarity or a lack of direction, especially related to um, whatever this emotional situation is. So it's almost like until we get that clarity, you know, let's just kind of go to our separate corners, think about what it is we want to do. Then when we come back together, we can make a decision collectively and also mutually is what I'm hearing. It, it really does feel like there's some sort of depletion of love in a particular situation. Um, uh, the angels are saying, especially with this four of wands, it's almost like if you guys are living together, it, it kind of feels like a situation where, you know, well, we haven't been getting along or you don't want to be here and I don't want you here or I don't want you here if you're unhappy. It feels like not really ultimatum, but ultimate decision, if you will. Ace of Swords again, yeah, you guys are looking for and or needing clarity on whatever this domestic situation is. And I feel like, especially with the Queen of Wands here, it's almost like, let's kind of take care of this before one of us erupts and really messes this thing up permanently. Or, you know, before we get too kind of, quote unquote, um, ahead of ourselves is what I'm hearing. Page of Pentacles, there it is. Yeah, there needs, somebody has to, either apologize or offer this as a solution. Somebody has to make the first move. Somebody has to send the first text. 
um, make the first phone call um, to kind of maybe bring you guys back together to the table or this page of Pentacles could be offering yeah let's go ahead and maybe separate temporarily until we kind of figure out what we're gonna do going forward yeah look at that yeah angels are saying if if emotions are high that is definitely not the time to make a decision go ahead and just wait for something to quote unquote run its course before moving on to the next phase of the decision making process with that high priestess there it's almost like yeah um nobody's saying anything things are real secretive real kind of undercover um behind the scenes right now this kind of feels like maybe there was some sort of home or domestic dispute and tensions rose high you know maybe you said some things libra maybe your person said some things and it's almost like somebody kind of said you know what pause Let's pause this. Everybody kind of take a time out um, and, you know, just kind of calm down first. And then once we actually calm down, we can start to talk through what some of these issues are. Hey, I love that the pages are here because that kind of says to me that um, once you kind of do again, take that break or separate or, you know, just kind of calm down that you'll um, open up communication again. This, yeah, also kind of is implying that you guys may not be on speaking terms with someone. Now we have the five of pentacles. We got the five of swords. So it's almost like you're making little progress, but you're not necessarily over the hump. Okay. I do kind of feel like somebody's trying to offer love or, you know, somebody will kind of calm down. Um, but again, it just kind of feels like everybody has to calm down together not just one person calming down trying to talk to the other person who to an extent could be still very emotional not only that but since we have two pages here and the the um, emperors here this could be some tension maybe even with your children maybe you have adult children or old ch older children at home and this could be involving you know um them maybe needing to move out or leave the home you have the five of pentacles with the five of swords this is you know yeah angels are saying maybe even a child ran away right and they ran away because they don't feel value they're not getting enough attention they've shut down you know uh with this decision maker this head of household if it's not a child it could be a spouse it could be again this feels like again a domestic situation so i just kind of feel like right now um, you guys may not be on speaking terms. You may not necessarily be uh, interacting with each other under the same roof. And it looks as though at least communication will start relatively soon. But I do feel, especially with the Ace of Swords here twice, there needs to be, there needs to be some sort of final decision. Somebody kind of quote unquote putting their foot down and saying, okay, going forward, this is what's going to happen. And this is what, what it's go going to be um who do we have here we have virgo here we have aries here we have cancer pisces aquarius uh aries here aries here so you have a lot of martian energy on the table which kind of represents ego and you know stern and strictness and um also at the same time angels are also saying somebody may may have to or may have already pulled rank Okay, what do we have for angel answers? Get more information. That's the conversation again that needs to be had. Just kind of allowing people to vent, get certain things off their chest. But, um, and also at the same time, understanding, say for instance, where the upheaval began, where the stagnancy started, where the disconnect took place, so on and so forth. Not only that, but with the high priestess here, this is kind of saying to me too, that yeah, there are just a bunch of unknowns right now that, you know, again, are needing clarity or needing to come to the forefront. Um, of course, the high priestess also says, listen to your intuition as well. But I feel like intuitively, yeah, you guys know that this is a boiling pot and somebody just may need to clear the air, get something off their chest before resolution can take place. Romance? get more information and romance. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like this is um, 
it's stagnant, right, with all these fours on the table. And it almost feels like if this is a marriage or any sort of romantic relationship, it kind of feels like that has come to a halt. And again, we're just waiting for, you know, to gather additional information and have that talk that come to Jesus talk on, you know, navigating where we go from here. Don't stop says to me, um, don't give up on this. Yeah. I feel like somebody's ready to throw up their hands and they're like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with you, Charles and your strict ways, or I'm done with you dad and I'm leaving, you know, you never love me. You know, it, <laughs> sorry. It, yeah. It just kind of feels like there's dissension here between, um, a decision maker and then the people who are kind of subjected to that decision makers decisions. If you believe that kind of, yeah, that kind of says to me, try to continue to work this out, take action, take action could be send that message, let them know. I do love you. I do want you here. It's just that. And that it's just that is, um, the beginning of starting to air out some of your grievances. Okay. Moonology. What do we have for Libra? Yeah. Angels are also saying, take your time with whatever this is. Give your person enough time and space to calm down or collect themselves or get their thoughts together. A fiery climax approaches. That's the high emotions. And I feel like that's what we're trying to avoid here right? We're trying to avoid the stuff hitting the fan. And, um, what is the other term? The stuff hitting the fan and things getting out of control. You saying things, them saying things that they, they can't take back. Be bold and make the first move. That again is this messaging, right? But again, uh, it could even be just sending a message saying, Hey, are you okay now? Or, Hey, you know, um, do you want to get together and talk or, Hey, you know what I mean? The pages represent minimal communication for me, as in, again, those short and sweet messages just to do like maybe a temperature check, check on your person to see if they'll respond back, if they're still mad at you. And because it's the page of pentacles and page of cups, that kind of says to me, it's genuine, it's loving, you know, it's, it's kind hearted, like this person's, um, heart and mind are in the right place is what I'm hearing. Nothing is yet set in stone, which says to me, yes, do not try to make a decision when these emotions are running this high. Allow them to heal first, which again is that space, right? It's like, hey, let's just take a time out. You calm down, I'll calm down. Everybody just calm down. And um, after everybody's calm, then we can kind of come together and understand what the issue was here. All right, my lovely Libra, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Libra. Bye.